that's the difference between a lab and a golden retriever. A golden or lab can melt the heart of any animal lover, but as with most breeds, many dog lovers have a favorite. Are you a golden person or a lab person? We'll tell you all you need to know about these wonderful dogs so that you can choose which one is the most suitable for your lifestyle and personality. Before we get into this, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more doggy tips and best practices. Leave a comment down below saying I subscribe and we'll try our best to personally respond to your comments. Before we get into the juicy stuff, let me give you a 30 second snapshot of the origins of these breeds. Labrador Retrievers have been America's favorite dog breed for 25 years and running, but Golden Retrievers still hold their own, always landing within the top five. The Golden Retriever can trace its ancestry back to the 1800s when the founder of the breed, Earl of Ilchester, great grandson of Lord Tweedmouth, crossed a wavy coated retriever with a Tweed Water Spaniel in Scotland. The result of this original crossbreeding is the Golden Retriever, a dog famous for its big hearted personality and rich golden coat. The Golden was bred to be a sporting dog. The Labrador was first developed in Newfoundland, Canada from other local dogs like the St. John's Water Dog. The lab was used as a working water dog to help fishermen retrieve nets and haul gear. Okay, so enough of the history because the real reason you're watching this is to learn about the dogs themselves, their similarities and differences. Let's talk about their appearance. You may have a hard time picking out the difference between the two because they look so similar with their folded ears, long tails, webbed feet, and happy, enthusiastic expressions. Both Goldens and Labs are popular choices for people interested in medium to large sized dogs. But how do Goldens and Labs compare in size? When looking at size, remember that males tend to be larger than females and height is measured at the tallest point on the body, the shoulder blades. Male Golden Retrievers are 23 to 24 inches in height, where females are 21 and a half to 22 and a half inches. Male Labrador Retrievers are 22 and a half to 24 inches high, and female height ranges from 21 and a half to 23 and a half inches. Generally, the Lab is a slightly larger dog than the Golden. Male Labs can weigh between 65 and 80 pounds, while females should be between 55 to 70 pounds. Whereas male Goldens weigh between 65 and 75 pounds and females are 55 to 65 pounds. The overall body type of Goldens versus Lab reflects the size difference between the two breeds. The proportions of the Golden tend to be elegant and symmetrical. Labs are generally more solid and sturdy than overly refined. Hey, I know you're beginning to feel that golden retriever love. Why not put your love for the retriever on display in these cute swim trunks? So, what about coat color? The Labrador Retriever has three solid coat colors, black, yellow, and chocolate. The yellow and chocolate colors can both vary in shading from light to dark. Golden Retrievers are of course golden in color. The breed standard describes it as a rich, lustrous golden that can vary from dark to light. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. Hit the notification bell so you're notified anytime we upload. Let's take a look at their temperament. The words commonly used to describe the temperaments of both Goldens and Labs are the words we use to describe very good dogs. Both breeds are friendly, reliable, affectionate, gentle, trusting, and kind. But many potential owners wonder about the differences between Lab and Golden Retriever personalities. Before talking about temperament, always remember good training and socialization practices from puppyhood into adulthood are the best ways to ensure that you get the kind of dog you want. Labs and Goldens are both very trainable and obedient, which is good news for any new owner. There are some minor temperament differences between Goldens and Labs. Labs might seem more aggressive when compared to Golden Retrievers as they are always high on energy. Labs stay friendly and obedient if they don't get bored. Both the breeds remain calm if others' dogs don't try to dominate them. 
Generally, Goldens are said to be a bit softer, gentler, and more sensitive than Labs. For example, a Lab that gets a scolding may be more likely to brush it off and go about his business than a Golden. While both do well in families with children, Labs tend to have the advantage in adapting to households with boisterous, lively, and loud young children. Many Goldens prefer a slightly more calm and tranquil home environment. Speaking about homes, snuggle up in these cozy Labrador blankets. Oh, they're just so cute. Let us know in the comments section which of the three lab colors on the blankets is your favorite. It's always important to take your lifestyle into account when choosing a dog, both the breed and the individual animal. An active family with young children may prefer an energetic lab while a retired couple may welcome a gentle golden instead. No matter which breed you choose, you'll be gaining a lovable family member, and nothing beats that. Which one is easier to train? Labrador Retrievers are extremely smart and instinctive. Labs are good learners. They like to follow commands, which makes them easier to train. Labs like to please their owners. They thrive on positive reinforcement techniques while training. Their flexibility while learning new skills makes it easier to perform any job. They tend to be good service dogs, guide dogs, and search and rescue dogs. When it comes to training golden retrievers, you need to be more patient. As the famous saying goes, you need to keep calm and love your golden retriever. Hmm, maybe wearing the saying will help. Adorn your family in these cute apparels. You can find them in the link in the description. With proper training, they can become good therapy dogs, pet companions, and guide dogs. They are friendly with humans as well as other animals. You need to ingrain new socialization skills in your golden retriever. The first month with this breed is one of the busiest for any owner. This breed likes to follow a specific routine. They don't like to stay idle. Golden Retrievers feel happy when they're instructed to perform a particular task. Grooming a Golden and Labrador Retriever Labradors and Goldens are notorious shedders, so both breeds require regular grooming. Both breeds have double coats and they go through two big sheds per year. Golden Retrievers should be groomed regularly. It has a silky overcoat and is quite long and a soft undercoat. This breed should be groomed once every week. Brushing their fur regularly helps in reducing shedding. Labs are comparatively easier to groom. They don't have a dense coat on their body. It is waterproof and dries out fast. While labs have shorter hair and don't need regular trimming, their double coat will still need routine maintenance. When compared with Golden Retrievers, labs need less grooming. Labs are not as high maintenance as Golden Retrievers. Rep your love for labs in this comfy sleepwear. This is indeed what dreams are made of. Sweet dreams. Let's talk about shedding. Golden Retrievers shed a lot. They shed all year round. Dog parents claim that you will have hair everywhere in your house if you own a Golden Retriever. Brushing your dog is the only solution to keep your house clean. No matter what you do, Golden Retrievers will not stop shedding. Labs tend to shed the same amount as Goldens. The only difference is that Labs have short hair and this makes it easier to maintain their hair. Let's look at their health problems. Labrador and Golden Retrievers are purebred breeds and inherited health issues are common in purebred breeds. Obesity, cancer, ear infections, hip dysplasia, and eye disease is common in both these dogs. Let's take a look at some health issues specific to Golden Retrievers. Almost all Golden Retrievers suffer from skin problems like itchy skin, allergies, and flack at least once in their lifetime. This is because of their long outer coat and their dense undercoat. Golden Retrievers also suffer from ear infections and cataracts and hip dysplasia. Goldens are more prone to this disease when compared with Labrador Retrievers. Health Issues Specific to Labs Labs could suffer from eye abnormalities, malformation of knees and elbows, and laryngeal paralysis, an illness affecting older labs that partially paralyzes the voice box, resulting in a muffled bark and difficulty breathing. The high-risk problems in labs are often avoidable through health testing and can be treated easily. Make a bold statement of your affection towards your golden retriever. Here's the perfect wall clock to put your love on display. 
having a look at the overall picture of different health conditions in labs and golden retrievers show that Labrador retrievers are generally healthier. There are always exceptions. Are Labrador retrievers smarter than golden retrievers? Golden retrievers appear to be smarter than labs. Goldens are known to be very intelligent as they are good learners. Labs are smart, but their high energy level comes in their way to learn instructions. Patience is the key to golden retriever smartness. It helps them in being attentive and learn from their master. They learn all the commands quickly. When compared with golden retrievers, labs lack patience. Though labs are smart, their impatience affects their ability to learn fast and their enthusiasm comes in their way to concentrate on training sessions. Both Labradors and Goldens rank high on most people's list of the ideal dog to add to their family. If you're looking for an energetic, intelligent, and outgoing dog to keep up with your active lifestyle, particularly if you have children, the Lab might be the perfect dog for you. If a loving, kind, and gentle dog is more your speed, be sure to consider the Golden. When choosing a new dog, so many questions may run through your mind. What kind of dog should I get? What's the best dog breed for me? Will he be a good fit with my family? We know the choice can be overwhelming, so we've created a guide on how to choose the perfect dog depending on your lifestyle and personality. Check out the video here. If you're new to our channel and you like it, leave us a comment and please subscribe.